Hi everyone, I am Sansa Stark, aka Sophie Tana, and I'm here to talk about my new upcoming film, Dark Phoenix, here on HBO's The Interview. At the beginning of Dark Phoenix, the X-Men are called into action and they go up into space and during that process of saving some astronauts, Jean is hit by a solar flare. It's this energy that feels like it's like burning and bubbling inside of her and it needs to get out. But when it happens, she can't control it and it manifests itself in very kind of destructive ways. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. This is what family does. Stop. We take care of each other. Stop. 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 And that is the beginning of her unraveling and the X-Men's unraveling as a family. She's still our friend. The girl dies. You come here to kill me? Because that would be a bad idea. That's one thing that I, I guess I'm always drawn to is just very, very strong, independent women. And Sansa and Gina are both that. They eventually use all of these terrible things that happen to them and they become incredibly strong women. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. I will never forget them. Jean has had Charles Xavier as her mentor, father figure, teacher, and in this movie, there is no trust left. This is your fault, Charles. And Sansa, on the other hand, she's in Winterfell, John and Danny are there. She doesn't want to take orders from them. She's not happy about it. She wants to kind of run her own shit too, but she is far more kind of self-assured and powerful than Jean is. And I like to think my experience has led to some small skill in statecraft and Uncle. an understa- Please sit. Game of Thrones is one of those programs that gets the, the fantasy and the reality that balance just perfect and this X-Men movie is very much kind of the same as that. You have these very supernatural things that are happening to Jean, but it's filled with like real emotion, and real human connection and relationships. Are you a scared little girl who answers to a man? I don't know who I am. Yes, you do. If the worlds were to collide, I think Jean would probably be, she'd be a Targaryen. She's the Phoenix. She rises from the ashes, just like Daenerys does at the end of season one. It's all about fire, baby. She's coming. Thank you for joining me on HBO's The Interview.